who really discovered America was the Yakut. Be with me and I give you detailed information. We are study and we have study and learned. The one who really discovered America named Christopher Columbus. But in 1929, a German theologian named Gustav Adolf Desmond in Topkapi Palace, Istanbul, he found a chart that drew the geographical location of both America with extreme accuracy and in the most beautiful way and in the closest way to the current shape of the globe, which created the question that did Christopher Columbus was a fair discoverer of America? Actually, no. And Christopher Columbus made some mistakes. One of them, he thought the earth is circle. And another one is when he found America, he thought he found India. And he didn't draw any map because the discoverer should be a person who drew a map of somewhere that he found it. And now the logical question will rise. We ask again. Who really discovered America? Was he a Kurd? In 2021, nearly three years ago, I presented a seminar about who really discovered America. Was he a Kurd? After I done a big research about it, and this research took me three years. And in, in this research, I clarify and simplify, declare that the one who really found America, he was a Kurd and he was this man who named it Ahmed Mahyaddin Piri. Known as Sarah Ispiri, he found America before Christopher, Christopher Columbus. Columbus. He drew a map and he explained it about South and North America very carefully and in detail. And in the detail, Peter Roy described about the tribes of Red Indians and the mountains, rivers. He scored in his book, which named Kitab al Bahriya, which means the book of navigator or the book of sea. And in that book, explain very outstanding detail, which elected the fish under the sea. And many other detailed information Pierre Reyes discussed about in his book, which make him be the first discoverer of America, because during the history of mankind, no single person scored something like this before him. While we are talking about the discoverer, the discoverer should be a person who drew a map of somewhere with geographical location and also describe about the tribes, rivers, mountains, which Piroi did that all. But other discoverers did not do anything like this. And let me remind you, the discoverer is not the person who first, first visited, but actually the discoverer is the person who drew the place which he found it and scored some detail about this place. After we talk about his magnificent work, now let's talk about his name. And you should be very deep in his name. We will be so sure that he was a Kurd. And especially the symbology of his name. For example, his name is Ahmed Mahyadin Piri. And he's known as a Ra'is Piri. Ra'is is Arabic, is Arabic word, which means admiral. Or, the na or, or naval, the one who command at the sea as a captain. And the second one is Piri. Piri, every historical and every language can be sure Piri only available in two languages, which is Kurdish, my language, and the Persian. And Piri have meaning, have meaning in, in Kurdish language, meaning the one who have experiences, experiences in life, but unfortunately, the Turkish people have stolen this man from us and tell us that he is a Turk just because he lived in the Ottoman Empire. Let me assure you that Ottoman Empire was a region, or was the empire who fought for non-believers. And every nation, including Arabic, Persian, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Romanian, Greek, Turkish, and Kurdish, and Ethiopia. 
because in that time religion was ruled not nations those nations i mentioned they were under the ottoman empire we know that before french revolution which took place in 1789 the nationalism was not so popular and was not so general in that time and in the ottoman empire there is nothing about nationalism and there is none about nation so that every other nation is like arab turk turkish etc was worked in ottoman empire because ottoman empire was ruled under islam as we say that the turkish stole this man from us just because she lived in the ottoman empire and we are asking turkish people many questions they can answer we can ask the turkish people what is the piri meaning in your language they can answer this question because in the dictionary of turkish there is none and have no meaning about piri but in kurdish language piri has a various meaning for example piri is self is a, is a name for example we have many many poets and scientists who name it piri for example sheikh saidi piran he was a revolution another one piramir he was a poet and we have many places many cities in marriage in kurdistan name it have and have a piri itself in the meaning for example uh, the place we have it uh, piramagron piramagron is a place in kurdistan and we have it kani pira located in slimania and we have many things for example we have a very big man who have uh, experiences in life and his his name was a pira bau and so we have many tribes many tribes uh, which have piri inside in the tribe for example we have a pira sna pira sna could describe which pira sna and also pirzada also is a could describe and also we have a, a myth of uh, a legend which uh, call it pir shaliar on uh, which is in hauraman a very famous pir shaliar also is a kurdish myth so it's everything has a meaning is a kurdish language but i can guarantee you 110% there is not a sinus or not a pointer in turkish name it piri so it's a big question we can ask so why why you are asking a Kurd, uh, turkish people why if you are believe it the pirish word have meaning in your language why there is no signification or no signs or pointers or any philosopher name it piri so it's a big question we can ask if the parents of piri reis was turk let me show you let's ask a question if the parents of piri reis was a turk how can they hear the word of Piri and name it after this song? How? Because, as we said, Piri has no meaning in the time. But in fact, parents of the Piri race, they were a Kurd. And that's why they named Piri after a big place, which is located in North Kurdistan, which is Piran. And let's not forget, and he drew drew this map in 5030 which in that time no one could draw this map like this as he mentioned it in his map that this map has not be able to anyone but me i mean pd itself and in this this map he wrote about who who created and drew this map in the place which located in the left of the map he drew this map al kharita lil faqir piri hazim mahyadin brazi and it is meaning this map has been drawn by piri son of son of haji mahyadin which is tribe of brazi so it is simply and clearly raised piri mentioned about his tribe which is Brazi. And Brazi is a tribe which located in Iran, Kermashan, the place which Kurd live at. 
and also located in Turkey, which is a place near Diyarbakir and Trablus and other Etikra places which located in Kurdish place. Those places who could live at, one of them, Piri was having grown up, which is Pira, as he mentioned in his name. And worth mentioning, I mean Zaki Bak, who is a Kurdish author, and he wrote a book about the history of the Kurdistan. And he have been claiming wow. the Brazi. And I mean Zaki Bak said, Brazi is a Kurdish tribe who are come with a bigger tribe of the Hasnan law. So it is very astonishing and fantastic and very wonderful detail which nobody has been discussed about. But I, during these three years, during this research, I find out with the blessing and the thanking of God, Allah. And many, many scholars and philosophers and professors and doctors has been exemplified or analyze this map and show us the truth that this man theory has been a very very extraordinary man which drew this map in that time which nobody could have ever been drawn and it is worth mentioning after i made a seminar in 2021 I was thinking about a statue or maybe a wallpaper to hang it in the Faculty of Law and Political Science with international relations to be remembered this man as a Kurd which is a few of Kurdish have been known this man because without no doubt Turkish has been stolen this man from us and in Turkey they made us big university of under the name of Peri Reis and they have a battleship which is also named after after this man so I was thinking about it, that hanging this wallpaper should be worth mentioning and also for our new generation which come after us to know in this map and he was a good and he was he drew a biggest map which is the world map and this map, even NASA couldn't solve it. It's a mystery. After I have done this research, then I was thinking about writing a book to describe everything that I have searched and find out. And this book cost me two years. And I hope this book may clarify and ex exemplify everything. I have it. Let us hear what Western scholars says about Ray Spiri. Get it together, watch this documentary and enjoy it.
after what you saw about Ray's previous map and it is a documentary. A man named Charles Hapgood and he was a professor in America and he sent the Ray's previous map to Albert Einstein and wrote a book about maps of the ancient sea kings and another one named Graham Hancock also clarify and simplify Ray's previous map in his book and another one named Doc Fisher. Ray Spiris map has been discussed a lot among philosophers. They declare that that everything in the Ray Spiris chart is reasonable and they called Peter Royes as a very brilliant map. In 1929, historians discovered a map which had been painted onto a piece of gazelle hide. They traced the document back to a 16th century admiral named Piri Reese. But in stark contrast to other maps, dating back to that time. The map depicts land masses that were still, as yet, unexplored. It shows the coast of Antarctica as it exists under the current ice cover. Now that's really pretty amazing because it would tend to indicate that the map was made at a time when Antarctica was ice free, which would be many millions of years ago. The map also accurately charts the coasts of Europe and North Africa, but it's the illustration of northern Antarctica that truly astonishes ancient astronaut theorists, because this region wouldn't even be discovered for another 300 years. We have to remember that Antarctica is covered by at least a mile thick ice. We didn't have ground penetrating radar until 1958. So for a map to exist in 1531 accurately showing the topography, it's pretty interesting. When cartographers superimposed the Piri Reis map over a modern map of the world, they were amazed to discover that the ancient chart was fantastically accurate in the most minute of details. But how could the creators of a centuries-old map have known of mountains or rivers that had yet to be discovered? In 1531, I really don't know of anyone who was flying above the surface of the Earth high enough to map topography, and how would they see underneath the ice? Their maps were so accurate. I mean, we know that they didn't go to Antarctica and explore it, but yet they were able to draw these maps of it. Found in 1900 by sponge divers diving off a, a small these island. platforms, this 800 ton crypt at Dendera that was always secret. And so that it was an astronomical device where you could by using it, chart your position to the stars and... ...rolled up on a dusty shelf in a library in Constantinople in Turkey, a map was found. This map had been drawn in 1513 by Admiral Piri Reis. The strange thing about this map is it shows features of the Earth that nobody in 1513 should have been able to know. Before the 18th century, sailors ran the risk of crashing their ships onto rocky coastlines because they lacked one thing, the ability to calculate longitude. For that, you need an extreme... He borrowed and copied from earlier maps. And he stated on the map that it was based on more than 20 source maps and that some of these maps went back to the time of Alexander the Great or even earlier, in other words, to before the time of Christ. And to be mentioned, he drew Antarctica because before it is discovery. So that's the great point that mentioned by Peter Reyes in his map. That Antarctica was really found in 1820. But Peter Reyes, he drew it, it Antarctica's map in 1530. So that is really incredible, really astonishing and amazing. Very wonderful to consider the map and describe it very carefully. The thick of the snow and that he drew the carefully of the mountain, which claimed that he was really brilliant. And the very magnificent and extremely amazing is in the Piri Reis map, in the last and the end of the map, he drew some cloud. And the next cloud was the sun. 
but actually it's a temperature. And in this cloud, Piri stated in his book and says, Those proud clouds flying 18 kilometers above Antarctica, and even more impressive is, he determined the speed of the cloud moving it estimated 1700 kilometers per hour. So it is very astonishing and extremely amazing that how could a man through a map in the end of the map choose some clouds and a temperature and says those clouds can move in a second move 1700 and he wrote about and also in the, the degree said, of the Antarctica is 17 degree below zero and it is extremely strange because even 10 years ago the kind of information it was unknown in that area of technology maybe in the future we made the biggest research about this map and hanging in our city Soran city or maybe in the Arbil or Slemania who knows thank you very much may Allah be with you